Hi, I'm actually named Miss E for all the children. Um, I actually have started a charity called Robot Angels to go out and just make happy, joyous uh, fun for anyone that's sick in hospital in, in regards to children in children's wards and also the aged care homes and things. We're going national. We started off with just uh, around this area, so the Lower North Shore. Um, so we're doing hospitals around this area, the eastern suburbs, uh, Westmead. Thank goodness SSW um, came and helped us out because there's no way I was going to fit in that many people in my house. So they've done a phenomenal job to give us the premise today. The kids just had a blast. They really did. They, they were just engrossed. They were learning things and so many of them come up at the end and actually said we can't wait to get out there and, and make the six children happy and make the aged care smile. Um, so we had robots that um, have been built like this one here uh, from 3D printers um, and that's from a company called EZ Robots, it's called iMove. Uh, we had EZ Robot robots as well which are artificial intelligence based robots um, that are humanoid so they can do a lot of movement and facial recognition and uh, speech recognition as well. We also were kind enough to be able to get someone from um, UTS to come across with a, a NEO re robot and they're really good because they're plugged into the IBM Watson um, back-end system for artificial intelligence. We also had Dot and Dash. Dot and Dash are fantastic. Um, you probably saw the kids here earlier today where they're on the ground on the, the X and Y grids. So they were learning from a mathematical point of view how to move the robots around, how to coordinate the two robots together so they actually recognise each other using coding such as Blocky and uh, Roboblocks and um, it's just, it was fantastic to see how engrossed they were. I think you know the future is here now. A lot of people are thinking the future is you know 20 years away, but within the next five years, there's going to be a, a need for the skill set that's required that we're teaching the children today um, out there in the workforce. Because at the moment, there's 20,000 jobs around the world where there's coders' jobs and no one can fill the roles. So you, you put a layer of robotics on top of that, and autonomous vehicles on top of that, and you've got a, you've got a workforce that doesn't exist out of universities right now. So it's important to get them at this age, between the ages of 6 to 12, so that they can develop the logic that's required for them to very quickly become very good programmers for robots.